Hi, today we're going to be talking about what makes a professional presentation. So the first thing we need to always check is spelling and grammar, etc. So what makes a professional presentation? Okay, so I've got you some classic slides here of things that I have seen that people have done. So I'm going to go through it and we're going to talk about it. And then I'm going to want you to actually fix this presentation. I'm not going to show you how I want you to do it, because I don't want you to do exactly what I do. So, in here we've got spelling wrong here. We've got a picture, so you can't see the text. And we've got a picture that is squashed. All of this looks really unprofessional. Okay, you need to think about layout, and you need to be able to see everything. One of the biggest things that makes something professional is consistency okay now I'm going to show you something that I would do but again like I've said this isn't the answer there is no answer you are going to be doing this so what I always like one of the things I've always thought was a good idea is to kind of put everything line it up You could even create, so what I'm going to do here is create an almost border. Try not to get things squashed. Try to keep them going nicely. And make sure there is plenty of room for your text. Picture format, I'm just going to crop. I don't actually need that. And then I could change the background colour to um, make it look a little bit more interesting. Or to go with the theme so I can make it purple. And then I could change this font. Remember, it's also got to be easily read. Again, this isn't the answer. This is me just kind of showing you an idea. There are loads of different ways you could be doing this, but we need some consistency. It needs to be organized. Can't just be dotted all over the place. Okay, so there we go. That looks better, but again, it could be better still. This is just giving you an example of how you can get some pictures in and look really good. You could also do this on a slide master, so every slide would have the same look. Image galleries. Now I've seen so many pictures which are just like this, where they've just put all the photos on a slide and thought it works. It doesn't. There needs to be some consistency with it. So I would do them the same size or kind of get them in a kind of good pattern. I'm not Again, I'm not going to show you to do this. I want you to have a play with it and try to make it look more professional because there's even pictures here you can't see. And that is because people have just put them on, put them on, put them on, put them on top and not done anything with them. So I'd like you to try to change this to make it more professional. What can you do to improve this page? Okay, now number four, about Ada Lovelace. Now, I have seen this countless times where you've got a picture in the background, text over, but you can't read the text. Also, I've got some pictures here of Lord Byron, which is Ada Lovelace's dad. Um, I don't know who that is. If I'm somebody watching this screen, I, I don't know who these two people are. I don't know they're the same person. And I don't know what they've got to do there. So this whole thing needs a lot more organising. It needs to be readjusted. It needs to have labels with the people so I know who I'm looking at. Okay, I'm going to leave that to you. I want you to try to make this look more professional. And the parts to make more professional is organisation, consistency, and readability. You need to be able to read it. All right, off you go.